there Shalini Mittal here from Tech Gatha and this video we will see the various functions available within Citrus. Here is a list of the various functions available to perform operations on string. We have mathematical functions, uppercase, lowercase, average, minimum, maximum, sum. You can get the random numbers as well. You want to read data from a file, you want to have an X path. You have JSON path, you want to work with the JSON data, XML data. You want to encode or decode a URL. You can see you want to escape XML, see data section and so on. To use a variable within a Java file, it's simple. You declare a variable, that's the variable name and the value by using the citrus function. So the current date function gives you the current date. You can use the variable in the XML file as well by declaring the variable name and the value for the same and then you can see you can use all the citrus functions within the XML tag or you can even use within the Java file. Again, if you are working with XML, you will have an echo tag where you can echo the message and you can even use the citrus functions within the message tag or you can use within the echo function in the Java file. So let's go ahead and see the usage of some of the functions. I'll of course provide this link in the description as well for your reference where you will get the list of all the citrus functions available. So if you go to the browser and open this link for the functions, let's do that. So let's open the Chrome browser and I type it over here. We go to the functions and then okay, it's taking some time to load. And then you would see you have all the list of functions available and how to use them. So it shows all the syntax with various examples that you can use it to use all the functions. And if you scroll this down and if you see it's 42. So can you see the list of all the functions available for your use? You can click on any one of them. And if you want to see how to use them, you can just click and you can see how to use those functions. You click on JSON path. You can see we can also have the JSON data wrapped around in a JSON path function, which you can use it to execute and we can even access it. So you can see I have this JSON data and we can access the ID as well. So let's go ahead and see in Eclipse how we can use few of the functions. So then let's open Eclipse and let's go ahead in SRC test Java and create a new test file. And let me give it a name as sample citrus functions demo. Again, the same stuff, you use anything, whether it's test ng or uh, JUnit, it really doesn't matter. And then we'll have extends ng runner. Right. Let's create a citrus test. Let's test the string functions. So I can create a variable by using a variable and I can have a name. So suppose I say username and I can put a value. Suppose I do this. Then we have the echo function and I can say my name is citrus and suppose I use the substring function passing in the variable name dollar curly brace and I have the variable name you name and substring takes two or three parameters so suppose I just say you name comma and eight and I close this function and I put a semicolon so let's execute and see what it prints test pass if we go to console and if you see in the logs can you see my name is we get middle so when i say 8 it calculates a substring starting from the 8 and gives me till end if suppose i say here 0 comma 8 in that case now if i run it again so substring function can take either two parameters or three 
So when I give one parameter, it starts from there and it goes till the end. If I give two parameters, first one is the starting value and the second one is the ending minus one. So if you would notice 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So it's always end minus 1. Same way I can say my name is Citrus and I can say Citrus Con and let's remove this from here and I'll say Citrus Contact my name is comma with the dollar name and i guess we have closed everything or didn't we yes no we missed this right here okay now let's run and see oh we'll get an error because i missed the citrus oh it passed but what it prints okay it just prints concat so citrus concat now can you see my name is shalini mittal of course if you want to have a space you will have to add a space over here and this way you can use the concat functions you want to get the length of a string i can say citrus dot and then here i can say citrus string length of the name that's it so maybe let me print dollar u name has you would see shalini mittal has length whatever the length is same way then you can use the functions for numbers maybe i can say test number functions I can delete this I don't every time need to have a variable to be able to work so maybe I can say citrus max of and I can remove this 12 comma 0 comma 8 I can say citrus sum of and we can just have 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 6 7 whatever it is I can say here citrus random number and then I can provide suppose I say 3 then my fire run let's see okay so is it maximum let's see okay so yes this is the test case for test string functions this is for numbers and you can see um, okay i didn't remove the my name is but then yes you get the maximum then you can see we get the sum of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so if you would do you should get 28 uh, we have random numbers so it prints 533 that means it gives you three digit number so this three represents the number of digits you want in the random number that's being generated fine now let's again test with json data because that is something which you will be requiring a lot when you work with making a call to the rest apis so say for example i create a variable and i'll say person and let me store the json data so i'll say name shalini and city mumbai okay let me remove these and now let's say echo dollar person let's just print this so test ng does provides me to ignore the um, test cases which I don't want to run. So basically I can do this and I can say enabled is false. Same way let me comment out this part. So now let's run. Okay, sorry we have to write the add test annotation over here for it to be enabled. 
because now we have removed from the class level so we will have to have that over there now the test case passes and let's see test json functions echo can you see we have this json object let's try to access the values that is name and city from this json object now how do you do that so to get the data i can say echo and suppose i'll say name and we'll use the citrus json path and i'll provide the json data which is in my person variable and i want to extract the name so syntax is dollar dot and the name now if you execute so the test passes and if we see we should get the name as shalini so you can see it just evaluates the path and it gives it gives me the name and i get the name we can have complex json so we would be covering all those in the upcoming videos where we actually make a rest api call get the json data and we assert that json data that we get with what we are expecting so with this we come to an end of this video happy learning take care and bye bye